the last decade saw the largest capacity addition in renewable energy in India. But Tamil Nadu, which was once central to India's wind energy capacity, saw its rate of installations reduced by half. After decades of being the state with the largest wind installations in India, in 2023, Gujarat overtook Tamil Nadu in total wind energy installation capacity. In part one of this report, we looked at the reasons behind the fall in new wind installations in Tamil Nadu. But attracting new installations is not the only area where Tamil Nadu is struggling. With the oldest wind installations in the country, replacing Tamil Nadu's aging fleet of wind turbines and repowering them is a bigger challenge for the state. In the area, there are many missions in 1990. There are various brands. NEBC, AMTL, Enercon, NEG Micon, Vestas, Pioneer Wincon. This is the first thing that we have done. That's why we have done this. That's why we have done this. That's why we have done this. 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 Saravana Kumar is the owner of a 225 kilowatt windmill near Udumal Petai. The installation is more than two decades old. He bought it in 2021 and is amongst a small set of such entrepreneurs investing into older machines as previous owners. Mostly mills move away from wind because of the high maintenance cost. The 600 kilowatt wind turbine. The rotor area is 47 meters. The type of machines are the project. We use it for a refurbishment. The lifetime is 20 years. In the 1990s, the technology of wind turbine that was available was basically stall regulated uh, wind turbines. These turbines are very robust and mostly used in class 1 sites where the turbulence is higher. And later came up uh, the pitching system where the blades pitch individually to uh, increase the efficiency of these turbines as well as to withstand high uh, wind forces. The evolution of technology has increased the height as well as the diameter thereby increasing the efficiency of the turbines and also the technical aspects of how this power is converted, uh, how the control system operates are completely different from the old age turbines. Today it is fully with PLCs and high uh, uh, data oriented operations are happening and they are very, very sensitive and they can handle uh, uh, many operations at the same time. PLCs or Programmable Logic Controllers monitor the instruments to control and optimize the operation of the wind turbines. The use of PLCs in renewable energy systems helps increase efficiency and reliability and reduce downtime. Wind sector is more of a technology driven sector. So the bigger turbines is already coming and we already have India's uh, largest like 5.2 megawatt turbines and 4.2 megawatts. So the market is moving towards the larger turbines. So what we foresee is the turbines will be higher and uh, the market will be behaving in that pattern. The bigger machines have started playing a bigger role. Now. Chinna windmills are already running. Again, there are no versions of the stock. There are no stock holders, windmills, spare parts. There are no stock in one area. If you install a windmill, if you install a windmill, then you can get the units. You can get the income. You can get the maintenance. You can get the focus on the same time. Chinna windmills are automatically demand. There are no windmills. As per the National Institute of Wind Energy, Tamil Nadu has the biggest repowering potential in the country. Older turbines which were installed in 1990s and early 2000s, the smaller capacity turbines, many of the turbines are not operational or operating at a sub-efficiency level which they are supposed to be. These are the turbines that have an opportunity to be improved in terms of their efficiency and also the turbines which are not in operation can be brought back to operation. Repowering is a small capacity machine, but it can be extended to the power. In the existing N.I. can be used to repower. Now, if you have a 2 megawatt machine, you can use a 500 kilowatt machine. The machine is reconditioned to the machine. It is reconditioned to the machine. It is reconditioned to the major parts. Then, there are small spares and failure. It is replaced by new work. Mesin itu working condition itu, repair pernah beri na 10 to 15 years melalui. Yang dah problem itu, tidak mana, ada run pernah, lifetime improve punya kurang. Abang ini, ini adalah mungkin koran di arah lewat. 
அந்த எல்லா ஒர்க்கும் பண்ணிட்டு நீட்டாக ஒர்க்கிங் கண்டிஷனில் போய் வச்சுருக்கோம் ரீபவரிங் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் இன் டூ ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் தி இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் தட் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி தேர் கேன் பி பெட்டர் யூட்டிலைஸ்ட் அண்ட் செகண்ட் இஸ் தி வின் பொட்டென்ஷியல் சைட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் அண்ட் நாட் பீன் யூட்டிலைஸ்ட் கேன் பி யூட்டிலைஸ்ட் ஃபார் புட்டிங் அப் மோர் வின் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஆர் பிரிங்கிங் இன் அடிஷனல் கெப்பாசிட்டிஸ் இன் டிசம்பர் ட்வெண்ட்டி the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy came up with a policy for repowering such old wind turbines in India. A repowering project as per the policy is any project which replaces old wind turbines by newer wind turbines that generate 1.5 times more electricity. The policy also provides guidelines for refurbishment of old machines through modifications in the turbine components such as gearbox, blades, generator and controller or by increasing its hub height. For India as a whole, the policy says 25 gigawatt or more than half of India's current installations qualify for repowering. With 7.3 gigawatt of its installation capacity being turbines below 2 megawatt, the policy expects repowering to add to Tamil Nadu's capacity the most. But the wind industry in Tamil Nadu isn't convinced by the projections. Now, what this means is that out of India's total of about 45 gigawatts, 25 gigawatts is less than uh, 2 megawatts, okay? That is more than 50%. so in a sense what this policy is talking about is something fantastic saying that more than 50% of your uh, uh, installed capacity needs to be replaced through repowering is that something that is feasible is it something that is possible big question they have understood that it is not always possible to get 1.5 times generation through repowering for refurbishment they are talking of a thing of saying okay we will not insist on 1.5 but at least give us 1.25 okay. but the experts in the field which are again the oems themselves are saying that it can give you only uh, 0.05 to 1 so where is this uh, 0.25 thing coming from but if you come up with specifications like this guessing okay in any case i am not going to meet that 1.25 or 1.5 Why that should I invest? Let me look at something else. The Tamil Nadu government has taken up the repowering policy for stakeholder consultations. However, the draft policy released after the stakeholders consultation meeting isn't yet deemed attractive enough by those owning old machines. If a repowering uh, refurbishment uh, policy la tariff existing uh, tariff vachikitta uh, ungalku investment vande it is uh, may not be viable. for those who getting uh, the 2.5 rupees 2.75 rupees adula edavadhu ungalku tariff increase panni kudutaanga na almost ella investor me will come forward for the um, repowering and for the utilization of existing um, infrastructure appo uh, there will be no wastage of any um, existing infrastructure questions also remain about the evacuation infrastructure needed to take the generated power to the grid for distribution Neither the national policy nor Tamil Nadu's draft proposal mentions any commitment to evacuation infrastructure. Tamil Nadu's draft proposal asks investors to foot the bill, adding to the capital needed to invest. States like Gujarat offer such facilities to investors. So repowering, pating uh, na, umulog it's encouragement na, but uh, implementation uh, challenges are there in terms of utilizing the existing infrastructure for another 20 years. whether that those equipments are viable to utilize idu paakanum idu or major idu paathu avan kandipa rendavathu land cost obviously land cost is uh, will not be there because already invested in the land so moonavathu paathinga na ungalku the process the process of the commissioning process like enna uh, pandringa ipo government vandu policy kuduthutar pannirlaana ana adha eppadi endha alavukku faster ah vandu process பண்றாரு அப்படின்றது பார்க்கணும் ரொம்ப ஸ்பீடப் பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னா இட் வில் பி ஈஸியர் ஃபார் த இன்வெஸ்டர்ஸ் தேர் ஆர் அதர் டெக்னிக்கல் சேலஞ்சஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் த டர்பைன்ஸ் சூட்டட் டு ரிப்ளேஸ் த எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் கிளாஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் கிளாஸ் டூ டர்பைன்ஸ் டு நாட் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் இன் த மார்க்கெட் எனி மோ த பிக் கெப்பாசிட்டி மிஷின்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடே ஆர் டிசைன்ட் ஃபார் கிளாஸ் த்ரீ அண்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபோர் சைட்ஸ் ஹேவிங் லெஸ் டர்பல் அண்ட் வின் பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் அவைலபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் த ஸ்மால கெப்பாசிட்டி டர்பைன்ஸ் ஃபார் கிளாஸ் ஒன் சைட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் அன் இஷ்யூ டுடே ஸோ either the existing turbines have to be refurbished and uh, used and places where there is the turbines are not operational uh, 
find we'll have to find out suitable turbine for that allocations to replace the old smaller turbines with a larger tur turbine the land requirement and the micro siting is also not easy it is very difficult to do it because the smaller turbines had a certain pitchings during that time based on their uh, half height as well as their rotor diameter today the turbines are coming with larger rotor diameters and finding and place replacing these entire farms with larger turbines is very difficult with so many limitations and without sufficient incentives wind turbine owners are suspicious of the intent of the policy itself there are multiple ways of looking at it one is that uh, there was a time not so far behind when the manufacturing industry wind turbine manufacturing industry was under stress yeah like as against the manufacturing capability that they had seki was auctioning only about 5 uh, uh, gigawatts in a year okay whereas they had about 10 times more okay so thing is that there was a need to look at alternative uh, revenue sources repowering is one of them the ministry of new and renewable energy had released a similar repowering policy in 2016 as well but it failed to take off while the new policy offers that the indian renewable energy development agency will provide an additional interest rate of 0.25 percentage for the investment it may not be sufficient either says investor bodies with investor sentiments remaining lukewarm tamil nadu must act more purposefully if it is to attract investments into its wind industry again tamil nadu has still a better scope and capacity to add wind energy generation so it is expected to be close to some 31000 megawatt of wind energy installations can happen now we have one third of the totally we have complied with the problem is there is no policy support and there is no regulatory support that is because of the way the regulators are occupying the their positions in tnrc and the cooperation by the tangent co that should be also there given its high potential tamil nadu has a significant role to play in the country's energy transition but the state's power management has been riddled with issues given their strained relationship with the center upcoming national elections will be crucial for the future of wind in this once pioneering state as part of its energy transition goals india has set itself an ambitious target of 450 gigawatt to be met from renewable energy by the year 2030 Out of this, 140 gigawatt is to come from wind alone. As of January this year, India's installed capacity in wind stands at 44.9 gigawatt. India will thus need an additional installation of almost 100 gigawatt to be installed in the coming six years to be able to meet its targets. But the stagnation of the wind sector in leading states like Tamil Nadu provides vital lessons. and raises crucial questions on india's ability to meet its targets on time